Hi there folks, here I am with me little dog Tilly. She sees the signs of me about to make a video and thinks, yep, I'm, I'm in for that. Bless her. It's not that boring, is it? Today, I thought I would start something a little different, a, a sort of series of videos that I'll probably maybe add to once a month as long as they prove popular. And it's going to be an A to Z or if you're in the United States, that would be an A to Z, of authors, favourite authors, from my bookshelf. So these are all um, authors that I have read and enjoyed, starting with A, and on a maybe monthly basis going right through the alphabet. A little bit of an experiment just to see if it's something that you will enjoy so do let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this idea and uh, you know look forward to seeing uh, other uh, videos in the series uh, what I'm going to do is take an author starting with a and look at both their books and their lives uh, so I can sort of really uh, fully sort of get into details of a particular author and the books that I have read and enjoyed from that author. So it's a little bit of a different slant than my other videos. And it won't be every single book in my bookshelf because I'm going to pick out the ones I've particularly enjoyed. Shock horror, there are some books in my bookshelf that I haven't actually read yet. And there are some that I'm thinking of sending to charity shops to make more room. Those authors I haven't particularly liked. So it's going to be a selection um, while I kind of reorganise my bookshelves. Which, by the way, as I'm so fussy about my books, I do keep in alphabetical order of author. Who else does that? Hey, let me know. It just makes it so much easier to find them when I want to reference an author or something when I'm writing though. So I am starting this A to Z of authors from my bookshelf with the wonderful Douglas Adams and, and of course the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Universe series. I've only got three of them. Yeah. Do you think it's dinner time? That's what you're thinking, isn't it? I've only got three of them. When I first started reading them, I think I probably borrowed uh, the, the original Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy book uh, from my brother, I think. And then I went out and bought the rest uh, pretty quickly. The only other one I haven't got is the last one. I actually, it, that was published quite later on and I didn't get round to reading that but I really do want to read that one so what I've got is the restaurant at the end of the universe life the universe and everything and so long and thanks for all the fish <laughs> no, you're not having fish for dinner the last one of course is mostly harmless which is a quote from the first book so what about Douglas Adams first? Born Douglas Noel Adams in 1952. He was actually born in Cambridge, uh, but his family moved to London. So he, he grew up mainly in East London and, uh, and then he went back to Cambridge to university. Uh, he started writing for radio in the 1970s. And I don't know if you, you may not know this, but he was originally discovered by Graham Chapman of Monty Python fame. And he actually wrote uh, a few of the episodes for uh, Monty Python. And he actually appeared in some of the Monty Python sketches. I didn't know that. And of course, he also co-wrote um, the sort of Monty Python-esque book, The Meaning of Lith which I do have a copy of somewhere. And uh, he also wrote some episodes of Doctor Who. But, of course, he mainly came to fame uh, when he wrote what was originally a radio uh, series of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. 
I can't actually remember whether I read the books first or watched the television series first. In fact, it might have been the television series. So funny, so quirky. Such a wonderful uh, comment on people, politics, social life, everything. The whole thing was just so unique, so inspired and so hilariously funny. Just absolutely loved them. And I, I, I just made my way through the books very quickly. So if you haven't read uh, these books and you like quirky, funny science fiction, then where have you been? You really need to be reading these. I can't believe anybody who likes quirky, funny science fiction wouldn't have read Douglas Adams. I, I think it's the law, isn't it? But if you haven't uh, read them, the first book, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, is about Arthur Dent, who is, um, at the beginning of the book, he's pretty upset and incensed because he's just found out that uh, this is off the top of my head and um, remembering the plot. They're about to build a road uh, through his house and so they're going to knock his house down and he is so, so incensed about that. And then his best friend, Ford Prefect, comes on the scene and says, actually, um, you don't really need to be worried about that. <laughs> Basically, he uh, rescues Arthur from the Earth which is actually about to be destroyed to make way for a super space highway. I, I, I just <laughs> love the, the, the warped humour of, of that. It's wonderful. And, and then he finds himself on a spaceship and having all these uh, weird adventures. She's off. With some very weird characters. And in the restaurant at the end of the universe, this, of course, involves time travel, where you can go to the restaurant of, at the end of the universe and watch the end of the universe. And, of course, if you wanted to go to the other uh, end, the start of the universe, you could go to the Big Bang Burger Bar. It's brilliant. And then the life of the universe and everything explores uh, the meaning of life. Uh, it starts out with them being stranded on Earth way before civilization. I love this. The regular early morning yell of horror was the sound of Arthur Dent waking up and suddenly remembering where he was. It wasn't just that the cave was cold. It wasn't just that it was damp and smelly. It was the fact that the cave was in the middle of Islington and there wasn't a bus due for two million years. Time is the worst place so to speak, to get lost in, as Arthur Dent could testify, having been lost in both time and space a good deal. At least being lost in space kept you busy. He was stranded in prehistoric Earth as the result of a complex sequence of events which had involved him being ultimately blown up and insulted in more bizarre regions of the galaxy than he had ever dreamt existed. And though life had now turned very, very very quiet. He was still feeling jumpy. He hadn't been blown up now for five years. But that's the start of life, the universe and everything. And then, of course, there's the last one. So long. Uh, not the last one now, uh, but it was the last time one at the time that I read it. So long and thanks for all the fish. So long and thanks for all the fish is uh, the message the dolphins uh, leave for mankind just before they leave the earth uh, as they sense the earth is about to be destroyed by the hyperspace highway. There was another book not written by Douglas Adams, published in 2009, written by Ewan Colfer, called And Another Thing. I don't know anything about that, so if you have read that, then please do feel free to um, discuss uh, that. I'd be interested to know what that is like. The first novel, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, was published in 1979 and sold a quarter of a million copies in the first three months. And very sadly, Douglas Adams passed away 
way too soon at the age of 49 uh, from a heart attack uh, when he was in America and that was in 2001 and he's buried at the famous Highgate Cemetery in London. Uh, he has left such a legacy. The books are referenced so many times in popular culture. I mean, everybody knows that the answer to life, the universe and everything is 42. I don't know anybody who doesn't know that. Uh, he's had stars named after him. And apparently, I didn't know this, there is one day in the year called Towel Day, which of course is a reference to, uh, in The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, one of the things that you must take with you when you're travelling in space is your own towel. And his fans organise, uh, just after his death, his fans organise Towel Day, where everybody carries a towel on 25th of May. I must remember that. Just missed that one too. So that's just a very uh, brief little uh, discussion about Douglas Adams, his his books and his legacy. And I hope you've enjoyed that. And please do, if you have anything further to add to this conversation, um, if you've enjoyed the books, if you know any other interesting facts about Douglas Adams, then do let me know in the comments to add to the conversation. So I shall be looking probably next month. I'll be looking again at another author beginning with A. But before that, if you'd like to look at some other books that are funny or you know, make you smile, then I did one in January and that should be coming up here, which also includes the Douglas Adams books, I believe. I remember rightly. My next video should be a book review. So I'm just um, getting towards the end of the Ken Follett book, but I am on holiday next week. So unless I find the time to squeeze it in, you might have to wait for that one. Uh, so my apologies for that, but um, I've got so many other things to do with client work, etc. So I, I might not be able to do that before I go on holiday. Also, I've got some stuff to, that I'm going to bring back for you from my holiday as well. So lots of exciting things coming up in my next <laughs> videos. Well, I think they're exciting anyway. So do make sure you're subscribed and all that. And uh, I will see you again soon, hopefully either before or just after my holiday. And I'll tell you all about that when I get back. Bye for now.